identity pointed structure it's very close to the middle oblongate and spinal cord still the attachment is intact we can clearly see that we can i'll get you the orientation of this this is a posterior plane we have the sigmoid sinus anterior plane we have the inferior petrosal sinus the probed area is showing three cranial nerves that is the ninth cranial nerve and tenth cranial nerve which is cut off and the pointed area is another intact nerve it begins from the not only medulla oblongata the nucleus extends to the spinal cord as well the cervical segment of spinal cord as far as the c5 segment <coughs> it carries information from the spinal cord the rootlets ascends upwards through the foramen magnum then emerges out of the skull through this foramen jugular foramen then descends downwards and backwards to supply first the sternocleidomastoid by passing through the digastric and carotid triangle it supplies sternocleidomastoid then it enters the posterior triangle of the neck and ends by supplying the trapezius muscle 5 cm above the <coughs> clavicle it ends by supplying trapezius muscle so this nerve is called as spinal accessory nerve so why is it called spinal because the nucleus of this is present in the cervical segment of spinal cord why is it called accessory because it is an extra cranial nerve which is developed after the 10th cranial nerve so for decades together we have only we had only 10 cranial nerves later we got one extra nerve therefore called as accessory nerve this accessory nerve is called spinal accessory and it supplies sternocleidomastoid which helps in the movement of the chin to the opposite side acting together it helps in flexion of the neck and bending down of the head <clears throat> and trapezius which helps in shrugging of the shoulder overhead abduction of the hand in the act of combing retraction of the scapula in the act of breaking your backbone okay so all this is controlled by this nerve called as spinal accessory nerve so we can still see the nerve is intact with the medulla oblongata and spinal cord so that is a best clue to identify the spinal accessory nerve thank you for watching and learning from logic medico is also called as 11th cranial nerve thank you